Abigail, Jessica, good evening to you. We have now heard from all of Oklahoma's senators and representatives. We can report tonight that they are safe. Now, all of this really took off this afternoon as Senator James Langford was on the floor of the Senate giving a speech objecting to Arizona's electoral college votes. That's when his speech interrupted as the Capitol was placed on lockdown. Today is not about the good people of Arizona. And it will stand in recess until the call of the chair. We'll pause. Protesters are in the building. Thank you. From their chaos at the United States Capitol, Oklahoma lawmakers caught in the middle, sheltering in place as protesters breached the Senate and House chambers. While their locations were unknown, they tweeted. Langford sending out a statement shortly after saying, quote, attacking police and destroying the Capitol is never a pursuit of truth and freedom. Never. Senator Jim Inhofe also rushed away from the chambers, saying in a tweet, quote, this violence and disrespect for our Constitution and our republic is unacceptable and must stop now. Meanwhile, in the House of Representatives, a similarly chaotic scene. Representative Kevin Hearn saying, quote, I support peaceful protests only. The violence must stop. Representative Frank Lucas sheltering in place at the Capitol complex, saying via Twitter, quote, I unequivocally condemn the violence and riots seen today. We have not heard statements yet from Representatives Tom Cole and Stephanie Bice, but their staff confirm they are safe tonight. And Representative Cole has just released a statement condemning the actions that took place there on the Capitol. We still haven't heard back from Stephanie Bice. Now, we know several of Oklahoma's lawmakers were planning to object to the certification of the Electoral College votes from several states. Langford, Mullen, Bice, Cole, and Hearn were all going to object. We do not know how Lucas was going to vote. Senator Inhofe, the only lawmaker to come out in support of the certification. And of course, we know Nancy Pelosi saying that Congress will resume the counting of Electoral College votes tonight. Of course, we'll keep you updated on how Oklahoma lawmakers vote. For now, reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.